I'm Gary White. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Water.org. Well, in 1990, when we started up Water Partners, it was very much focused on the fact that there were, you know, so many people around the world who needed access to water and sanitation. And the organization we created was really about raising those kind of philanthropic or charity dollars, if you will, so that we could then use those funds through our partners in other countries to help people build safe water systems. As we were undertaking programs with our partners uh, and under what we call a grant-based program or direct impact model, uh, we also started to, to come in contact with a lot of people who were paying a lot for water services and, and sanitation services. We also knew that microfinance as kind of a concept and as, as institutions uh, was oftentimes present in the same countries where we were working. And that was really kind of the, the aha moment for water credit. It's like if we could find ways to help people get access to finance, they might be able to take these problems into their own hands to a large degree to find the solutions that would be best for them. So the whole concept of getting capital in the hands of the poor so they can make the decisions that are best for them is one that's allowed us to bring all different types of audiences together, where it be our, our philanthropic partners, uh, our microfinance partners, or even the NGO partners that have come on this journey with us. You know, organizations like Sidur and My3 and, and ODP, uh, who have really also seen the potential and really went from the concept of, of grants to revolving loans to really full-on water credit. Uh, I'm Gita Mitra. I've been uh, working with ODP since uh, 1986. My name is Hansel Rosario. Uh, I'm the executive director of Maitri Sarva Seva Samiti. Yeah, I'm Nandavardhan Tumati. I'm the secretary of Sudhu. Uh, when we first started, it was uh, basically a grant project where we were looking into providing safe drinking water and sanitation facilities, primarily to the very poor. And initially when they told us, look, we are going to finance you for uh, provision of water and, and uh, uh, sanitation, predominantly water, and uh, that will be in the form of a loan. We said no. The staff were the first, you know, we had to convince about because uh, it was a comfort zone for them also. And it, would, it was a difficult task because basically it's a field staff who interact maximum with the people. So having a grant project where, you know, everything was given to them and the construction was done, you know, by masons, you know, the field staff had identified was an easy option for them. So primarily we had to change the mindset of the staff and through them convince the people. Gary White was there right from the beginning. He was talking to me, how about giving credit to these people? I thought this they would do and they don't mind doing it and they are not going to struggle to pay this money back. Second thing is they have great demand for this. I am a lover. 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 I am a thousand rupees angela karchak but the makkulge namge agli doddorge illa now adrinda namge namge mamali kaile badira tarane na manelle madkond bekadre na tirga aspatrak duddik odi nidrutte sir and monthly now kattadral na venu id madkondilla sir thara makkatti idu no with a grant you can only help so many people we cannot stop you know with say a hundred families having toilets what about the balance as an ngo we still continue to work on many field so the mission has not changed. Like the scale and the distinction of our uh, distinct approaches have ch have changed, uh, but the scale makes us more and more, uh, you know, be excited about what we are doing. People are looking at 
water and sanitation as two different product projects compared to income generation projects but if you really start working my experience is there are so many other things revolved on water and sanitation health is there uh, uh, education is there there are children who didn't go to school intelligent children who didn't go to school inke edanunte cooking or tailor inka rendu ekka blouse lu kottukone avakasham unnadi inke iddar pillalu tuition ekka cheppukone time unnadi spend cheyadam వస్తే ప్రెస్ట్ అన్న తీసుకోవడం జరుగుతున్నది కదా అంత ముందంటే అంత దూరం లాంగ్ వెళ్ళి మరీ తీసుకొని రావాల్సిందే